Okay, we're gonna try what I call the Montauk Green Caddis Pupa. Um, Jim, Jeff uh, Holsom and I were down at uh, um, Montauk State Park for the winter catch and release season and uh, a couple years ago and we ran into a Jeff City native, Frank Hume, and he gave us a couple of these and they were really well and uh, they've worked really well for me since. The deal is down there at Montauk State Park, which is the headwaters of the current river, there are all kinds of these little green caddis pupas uh, in the gravel. Um, so let's get going with this. Um, I already have a hook in the vise. It is a an Orvis big eye dry fly hook size 20. Um, you can use any standard size uh, 20 hook also. Um, with the thread on here and I'm using um, black, it's another 12 or number 14 odd <clears throat> thread, um, real thin stuff, got to get it started here. And then the next ingredient is the green stuff. It is UTC Ultra Wire Fine. Um, I think they call it small um, fluorescent chartreuse. Fluorescent chartreuse, excuse me. And I got a piece cut off here. And I'm going to tie it Oop. once I get my thread back on. I was afraid I'd not put enough thread on there. This little bitty diameter thread does not create a lot of friction. Got to make sure you get it in good. But, and also, I'm going to get the uh, the green wire, the whole length of the hook, tied in the whole length of the hook because it uh, is real slippery too. It might tend to come right out the back end when you pull on it. So I'm going to go down and make sure you get to the bend of the hook so you got a nice long abdomen back end. And I like to get behind that black thread on the end and then keep my wraps real close together and try not for any of that black thread to show through. And I'm going to use my rubber feature on my vise. To get back up, oops. You'd think after tying all these darn things that I would know I had to bring my thread up. And I'm bringing it up to about two hook eye lengths behind the eye. And then try to keep those wraps real close together. What was that? Something went pop, but I guess it's okay. I must hit the point of the hook. Get it up here so you can see where I'm stopping at. We'll have to. That's about right, about two eyes. I'm going to go one more time around. About two eyes back. Okay, a couple times around, and 
You can just helicopter this stuff off. It's real thin. Okay. Then next, I'm going to take a couple. Couple pieces of peacock roll. Put the ends off of there where it's not real strong stem. And fan those back. And then you want to leave another eye's length, or one eye's length behind. So you just wrap it up, try to keep it from not patting itself down. Pretty simple fly, it's just that it's on a size 20 hook. Okay, so that would be the thorax, I guess, if that's what you have on a pupa, caddis pupa. Then we're gonna put some legs on a black hackle. I'm using a dry fly hackle because it's easier to get them that small. And I'm going to cut a little comb on there to try to hold it in. Already getting a little bit unwieldy. And then tie it just like a Soft tackle, you know, only about one and a half turns, and go over that dude behind it. Try to get the tackle to stick back. Cut that off. Okay. Now if we can get a little head on there. Oops, she fell forward on me. Okay. Now I am gonna use the tie and wax. We'll put a whip finish on there. Snip that off in between the V of your scissors there. And clean out the eye, because it's going to be hard enough to get the leader through it anyway, even these big eye hooks. Okay. And that is a there it focused a little bit better. That is um, the Montauk green caddis pupa, and I fish it uh, either high, either uh, high stick it, tight line it, or uh, um, just fish it regular swing and and. Uh, dead drift and then they usually hit it when it's when it rises up um and like i said down there at montauk there's just all kinds of these little green caddis pupas on the bottom and uh, it works real well there so that's it thanks for watching